I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Alright guys, I wanna talk to you a little bit about my new rifle and my initial impressions This is the Carbon Fury from Fierce Firearms in Utah in 6.5 PRC. Um, the fit and finish of this rifle is top notch. The rifle stock is comfortable, stout, lightweight. Um, the barrel is, is fantastic. Uh, everything, the fit and finish of this rifle looks looks great, as it should. I mean, it's a roughly a $3,000 rifle. So um, it's a great looking rifle. The uh, Seiko Action 3 lug uh, is, is awesome. Super, super smooth, and uh, I, I really dig it. So um, one thing about this rifle I had, um, I had a Carbon Rival, their newer platform from Fierce, and was having some issues with that rifle, and I sent it back, ultimately trading it in um, for this rifle. Their customer service has been, has been impeccable. And uh, anyway, so I upgraded to this rifle based off of the issues I was having with the rival. One profound difference, two profound differences between the Rival and the Carbon Fury is that um, the rifle stock on the Rival is a much more updated, contemporary, vertical grip style stock, higher cheek weld. I do like that more. Um, this one still fits, feels great and it shoots, shoots awesome. I just took it to the range for the first time today. Um, and, and the other thing is, <clears throat> is the Rival is truly a short action uh, in terms of the PRC cartridge. Um, you can really run it like 2.955, right? Um, it was designed, um, the owner of the company, John, told me at uh, the sports show in, in Salt Lake this last fall, this last winter, that that rifle was built for the Hornady Precision Rifle um, factory ammunition, uh, the 143 grain ELDX and 6.5 PRC. So that's, a, that's apparent because you, you don't have a lot of variability to add much length in your cartridges if you're reloading <clears throat> want to shoot a heavier bullet or something like that like the burger 156s that's where the carbon fury steps in it's a long action and you have all the room in the world um, i'm geeked about that uh, i should be able to run the burger 156s really long um, and i did take some initial measurements and uh, anyway so a lot of flexibility if you're a reloader and particularly with this platform um, so anyways, initial impressions today at the range were fantastic. Uh, I shot a 0.32 group um, with factory Hornady ammunition. And I ran uh, five different ladder tests throughout the morning um, with a, a variety of bullets. I did the 140 Burger VLDs, the 147 ELDMs from Hornady, the 143 ELDXs from Hornady, uh, the 153 and a half burgers and a 127 Barnes LRX um, using both Magpro and Rotumbo. Um, and I got great velocities out of this rifle today. Um, just to share a couple of numbers this morning. This rifle with 143 grain ELDX and Rotumbo, uh, I ended up highest velocity of 59.1 grains at, at 29.89. Um, I'd say that's pretty respectable with a really good speed note at 29.77, 29.76, at 58.3 grains. So uh, I think the velocity is pretty good, frankly. Um, screaming velocities with the 127s. Uh, the 127 Barnes, let's flip back a page or two over MagPro. Um, I ended up with uh, 3259, 3259 with 127 grain Barnes LRX uh, over 62.7 grains of Mag Pro, no pressure signs, um, no extractor marks, nothing like that, with a great speed node at 61.9 grains of Mag Pro 3181. That's cooking, you know, even with a 127 lighter bullet. But that full monolithic, them, they hit hard. They're a fantastic bullet. So I hope this rifle will shoot them well. Seating depth test to come. Uh, anyways, I topped, topped this rifle with a Leupold VX5 4 to 20 with a fire dot reticle, which I'm a huge fan of for hunting. Uh, medium tally rings, 34 millimeter tubes. So you can see I got great fitment. But 
Overall, I'm gonna say, uh, I think this rifle is a far superior product than the rival that I had. Um, and uh, it seems to shoot just lights out and function as it should. So I'm really optimistic and I really can't wait to dial in my load and uh, send, send some rounds at some extended ranges just to see what this rifle can do. So uh, it'll be hunting with me um, in Idaho, Nevada and Oregon this year. So anyways, that's my initial thoughts on the uh, Fierce Carbon Fury. Um, super nice rifle, it looks great, it's sleek and shoots fantastic. So the action is top notch. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, let me know.